So Matt, we know that personal branding is kind of trending, your online presence, your ideas, your thoughts. But for some international students or new immigrants or even job seekers, they don't know where to start. So in what tips do you can they have? Where can they start? How is there a schedule in your opinion that they should follow? Yeah, that's great. So the personal branding, uh, it's definitely since the internet kind of evolved into social media that really kicked it off. I remember when I was talking about personal branding in the late 2000s. And now it's just like, like you said, it's just unbelievably ridiculous just yeah. how much it's in a, in a forefront. So a, it's not going anywhere because of the TikToks and the LinkedIn's and the Twitters and the Facebook. So yeah. you, it, here's what I'll say. You don't need to be in every sandbox either. So if you have, let's say uh, for the sake of it, you have a specific title, you are a marketing person, mm -hmm. young student wants to get in the marketing business. Um, you do not need to live on the platforms where marketing people that you want to associate with, you know, where they, where they aren't. Now marketing is a bit broad. Um, maybe we can go into something a little bit more niche, like, like electrical, electrical engineering. Yeah. Electrical engineers aren't going to be on Twitter sharing their thoughts. I mean, maybe a handful or something, but electrical engineers are going to be in LinkedIn. Yeah. Uh, electrical engineers might be hanging out on Quora or, or on Reddit and certain forums. Their are associations that are yeah. EEs of, you know, global, whatever, or of America. Mm -hmm. you know, so get into these direct groups that you know you have access to easily. And then as you start to explore, you'll start learning of other areas you can dwell in. But don't overwhelm yourself. Start with one platform, but be consistent with what thought leadership yeah. you're sharing. Because if you're not consistent, it's pointless. And if you're not sharing things that are unique to you or your personal uh, uh, kind of idea of what yeah. those mean, um, you're not going to get very far. So you yeah. got to establish your, your own voice. Don't just copy and paste what other people are saying. Adapt what they're saying and try to reformulate it in your own way yeah. of thinking. Um, it's important though, because hire managers are going to look anywhere, nooks and crannies, recruiters to find people. And if people are online, they're going to be utilizing that because they know there's people out there trying to yes. scream to the world about what they yeah. offer, right? In terms of value. Yes. So yeah, go where these people are looking for you. Uh, but don't overwhelm yourself at first. It yeah. will come. I didn't start off on 15 different things, you know, but eventually you grow into that kind of ability to be able to manage this stuff and yeah. know where to, where, where to hang out. Right. So know your sandbox is big. Yeah. I always tell the clients I'm working, like have a schedule, like Mondays, nine to nine to 10 o'clock, uh, you're going to like five comments or on Tuesdays, you're going to share, but don't just share, put your thoughts. I read this article. These are my findings. These are my thoughts and put some hashtag related to it. On Wednesday, you write your own article. Maybe if it's a small one, just start small. On Thursday, again, follow those companies that you want to work and share their thoughts or put comments there. And then in the comment section, you can interact with other people. That's how you're going to build and grow from uh, on LinkedIn. Exactly. And know that we all aren't doing this all day, every day, minute yeah. by minute. We're the same, same idea just a little bit of time every day goes a long way, but know that it shouldn't be a burden. Really, truly try to digest and learn mm -hmm. what they're saying to implement and apply when you're in that role, because that's the whole way this thing works is, you know, you're not a clock watcher. You're someone yeah. who's going to implement improvements. So go and adapt and soak in all this knowledge. And not only that, then you can find out areas where you need to upskill. Yeah. Um, I loved your, uh, I loved your idea of um, having a, a, a timeline. And I'll say that moreover, when you are, make sure that you are definitely commenting on people who are decision makers at companies you want to work at. Yeah. Get in their face. You know, don't be annoying, but yeah. hey, they share something, comment, and then be, you know, give them a little follow-up message, a little, hey, great thing. Do you mind if I maybe bend your ear about what it takes to be a good candidate at your company or how how you manage to, you know, yeah. have such loyalty somewhere for 20 years? You know, whatever it is, it struck up a conversation because those are the seeds you're planting that one day might yeah. flourish into that role, right? Yeah. But you got to be consistent. Yeah, that's very important. You cannot just say, oh, I need a job. Let me go and do it. Yeah. No, you need to start from now. It's, it's a long run, not a short run. Exactly. No one's going to help their people that they don't know. I mean, yeah. very rarely is they happen. Yeah, they're right. very desperate, yeah. but yeah, you're coming in hot. They're going to know. Yeah. Thank you for those great tips, Matt. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for other.